Many people get their job through the New York Times. Few people quit their job through the New York Times. But that's exactly what Greg Smith did. Early this year, Greg Smith, a 12-year employee of Goldman Sachs, wrote a scathing op-ed of the investment banking firm saying that employees of the firm regularly talked about ripping off their clients. Now, Greg Smith's out with a new book, and he's with us here today. So in the book, you say that uh, Goldman Sachs, the employees of Goldman Sachs regularly talk about, openly talk about ripping clients off, and they're rewarded for this. Uh, but Goldman Sachs has done its own review, and they've said they haven't found any wrongdoing. Uh, how can that be? Well, what I would say is the, the exercise they went through in terms of trying to find uh, the, the word Muppet or find people who said it is misses the point of the problem. The, the problem is not calling someone a name. You know, everyone calls people names on Wall Street. The problem is the reason you're calling them a Muppet, which is that a Muppet in, in the UK means someone you're able to manipulate. And I was disappointed to see that Goldman wasn't actually trying to find the cause behind cause, calling the client a Muppet, which would be a thing like, taking a teacher's retirement fund or a philanthropy or a charity and overcharging them on a product they don't understand or using the information they're getting from the client to bet against that client. And I think that's the real problem. And instead of denying there's a problem by, by talking about the word Muppet, why not actually try to fix the problem and restore trust with clients? When you go through the book, there's certainly a lot of behavior that seems unethical and wrong. Is there anything in your book you can point to and say, this behavior here this is illegal, someone should be going to jail for this. That's, that's exactly the point. The irony of all of this is technically, by the letter of the law, a lot of this stuff is legal. But any so you're saying by Wall Street rules, ripping clients off, that's legal. Yeah, I mean, you look, can do that. Look, look when um, Lloyd Blankfein was called in front of uh, the congressional uh, committee with Senator Carl Levin after Goldman was charged with a fraud suit. His argument was, look, it doesn't matter who the investor is. We don't owe them the obligation to tell them who's trading what or what our view is. My point would be the client doesn't know that. When, when a state teacher's retirement fund or a global charity comes to Goldman or Morgan Stanley or J.P. Morgan, they're actually coming because they're expecting some advice on what to do. So this notion of we're all big boys, we're all equally sophisticated, may be thought that way by Goldman, but from the client standpoint, they're looking for advice. So I would argue that it's very deceptive. Goldman has said that you left because you weren't happy about your bonus in the last year before, uh, before the book. So was your bonus above or below what you expected it to be? Look, uh, I was told in my bonus session that I outperformed my peers by 10%. Um, I, I think there's, to be frank, there's an act of shooting the messenger uh, that's going on. You know, I was, I started with 75 people as a summer intern. By the time I left, there were only seven of us left. So I, I was doing well in my career. But, but the point is not this. The point is, why isn't Goldman Sachs actually addressing the issues I raised about betting against clients, about uh, getting unsophisticated investors to trade very sophisticated products that I understand. While by Wall Street standards, these things may be okay, I guarantee you that the normal person in the country is thinking, these practices are egregious. How can this be allowed? 